HBK were at their most vulnerable. Other superstars were making their play to capitalize. HBK really does stand for has been kid. Chris Jericho set his sights on ending the career of his childhood hero, Shawn Michaels. Meanwhile, Booker T challenged Triple H for the coveted World Heavyweight Championship. Triple H may oh, be shit. looking at the next heavyweight champion of the world. Both rivalries would culminate in two epic encounters at WrestleMania 19. Marcos with a roll up. Oh, yes. And a oh, green. Yes. And a green. And it's over. But it wasn't until the night after WrestleMania that the game and HBK would cross paths again, granting a voice of reason to emerge from the shadows. You guys are my friends. We got to get this together. You got to know something, man. It ain't never going to be over between me and Shawn Michaels. You've got to make a choice. It's either him or me. Triple H, defiant in his ways, refused to see the light, and tensions would again flare. Thank goodness for Nate and Jericho. Whoa, they stopped Shawn nice Michaels at the very, oh very last second. There's him and Nash. Triple H is trying to explain to Nash that Shawn Michaels keep Triple H. Oh, low blow! Low blow! There's got to be a oh. method to the madness of the game. In the backlash of the destruction, Triple H and Shawn Michaels would be joined by four top contenders in a three-on-three six-man tag team matchup. What a night it's going to be Sunday at Backlash! The following contest is a six-man tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing 227 pounds, Chris Jericho. If you want me to skip entrances or whatever, or if you want to get through. Introducing from Houston, Texas. From Detroit, Michigan, weighing 300 Five pounds, Kevin Nash. Think about the dichotomy of this match, King. On one side, there you see Booker T, but Shawn Michaels and Kevin Nash. And the relationship they've had with that man, Triple H, over the years, and it's come down to this here tonight. Yeah, Kevin Nash has come back, and he wants to get his hands on Triple H, but look at this. Triple H wants not a big sexy, does he? Jericho in, and here comes Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. Uh, with a little uh, mocking of the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, there before this match gets underway. Here they go. It's going to be a good one. What are we going to do? Okay, when you talk about all six of these men, all of them have at one point in their career been at the very top. Oh, without a doubt. And probably the longest man at the top is Nate, Ric Flair, World Heavyweight.
Heavyweight Champion for years and years and years. And Triple H, World Heavyweight Champion now. He's been at the top of his game for years, too. But you're right about another thing, Cole. Every one of these guys is a true superstar in every sense of the word. All six of these men used to being in the spotlight, used to being in the middle of it all. King, we've talked about being a team and not competing as individuals, but with so many egos in this match and so many guys wanting to go after one other guy, is that even possible? Who knows? I mean, Cole, you have to look at these six individuals and tell me, who do you think has the biggest ego? To answer your question, it's hard to say who has the biggest ego among these six superstars, but if I had to pick, I'd pick Triple H, the game. He's the best there is, and he will be the first one to tell you that. Wait a minute, Triple H? Really? Come on, it has to be Shawn Michaels. I mean, his ego applied for statehood one time. <laughs> or what about Kevin Nash? His ego has its own zip code. Oh, man! He's putting those educated feet to good use. The game avoids trouble there. Yeah, Triple H saw that one coming a mile away. One thing to make sure of is don't ever turn your back on any of these guys. Don't ever get caught napping. Yeah, some incredibly intelligent, opportunistic superstars in the ring tonight. Triple H is so smart. So is Ric Flair. So is Y2J. All of them really some mind power up there. Big Daddy Cool. Let's see what he's got. As you said before the match, he hadn't been in the ring competing in a long, long time. Well, that's true, but Kevin Nash still looks to be in prime condition, King. Certainly one thing we know hasn't changed is that Big Daddy Cool still has that strength. be an issue for him. Well, I don't know about that, Cole. That may be just the case because Big Daddy Cool is not very cool right now. But Kevin Ash, a pedigree, he got it. The game got the pedigree. We have to focus a little bit on... We got a cover! And now he's back out on the apron. And will this be it? Kevin Nash and that size of his. And you know what they say. The bigger they are. And this has got to be it. And he breaks up the count. My God, there's so much on the line here. Oh. And he finally gets out of the ring. An early kick out. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. Remain the very best. And if Kevin Nash wasn't angry before, he's angry now. 